We're ready. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Abdu. Um, I want to tell you um, the story about um, the kid whose um, dream became true. Um, when I was a kid, since I was a kid, actually, I was dreaming about moving to the United States when I was like about nine years. That dream became through my uncle's experience who was a student at Harvard University. In that time, um, my uncle was sending us like a picture of his like um, life, school, friends, and telling us a lot of really excited uh, stories about his life in the United States. So in that time, my dream became getting like bigger and bigger and bigger. A few years after, um, I got enrolled in American college there in my country. It's um, about petroleum um, institutions. So I realized that the first step to go to the United States is getting in. So I, um, I finished my three uh, full-time years in the college. Um, and um, before um, graduation, I got hired to one of the biggest um, oil and gas companies, which is Mobile. Um, I got hired immediately. I worked for Mobile for nine years, and that was the second step to go to the United States. I worked for nine years. Um, I got a lot, a lot of training, a lot of certifications through that nine years by Mobile. One day on my vacation, I was sleeping early in the morning when my phone was ringing, which is the worst thing can be happen for somebody when I like sleep um, during the early morning. <laughs> um, I checked my phone, I said, no, not today. <laughs> Just threw it away. <laughs> okay. For the second time, I said, shit. Get yeah, grab it. I said, not today again. I throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> my mom came to me and said, you know what? You need to answer this phone. Could be something really important. This person calling you because there's something really important. That's why he's calling you in the early morning. And he's keep trying to contact you. And that was like really the magic words, you know. And I get back. I grabbed my phone. I said, hi, good morning. He said, good morning. Good morning. OK. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm just a little bit tired. That was my manager actually, and he. Um, I just assumed that he's gonna ask me to give, like, cut off my vacation and get back to work because I need you. I said I tried to avoid that question. Um, they said, like, you know what? Come to my office, lucky like boy. I said, lucky like boy. Okay, I'm not lucky. You call me on my vacation, <laughs> and they get back to um, to take like a shower, grab like some stuff, get my like papers because he asked me to grab my passport and something like this. I went ahead to his office, and there was like a nice warm day. And he get back to his office. While I actually was working in his office, I found like my co-worker man, and he said, hi, good morning, lucky boy. I said, did you spend the night with my manager last night? He said, no, it's not my time. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, and he left me alone and went. So um, I went in to my uh, manager's office, Opened the door, I found the secretary saying like, oh, good morning, lucky boy. I said, you know what, I'm going to forget about anything that I like you as a girl, and you need to tell me what's going on here. She said, you know what, and before she finished that, my manager opened the door and he grabbed me in his office. And he said, did you bring your passport? I said, yeah. But you know what, I'm not going back to work and everywhere, because I'm planning to go to Morocco next couple of days, you know. You're not going to interrupt me. Hmm. And said, no, you need to just like fill some applications and you get it done. <clears throat> okay, I filled that application. That application was about um, permission to travel out of the country while you are working. I said, okay. I filled the application and said, I know you've been dreaming about traveling to the States um, since you came. I said, yeah. And I was like, look at this, yeah. <laughs> and he said, you know what? I nominated you to go to a semester, um, like semesters abroad for one full year scholarship to that state. I said, yeah. And he said, what? I nominated you and you get it. In one second, I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> I became screwing just one box. And they said, you want to get it? <laughs> and I, left the, I left the office with nothing. I left my passport, my stuff, everything. I went back to home. And I found my mom, you know, washing the dishes, something. I just hide her. I said, my dream became true. My dream became true. I said, she said, I don't know what you're talking about, but I told you there's something important about that call. I said, yeah, I'm going to stay. I'm like, 
in just three um, three months, I finished everything, my papers, passport, visa, and everything. I got to states with my dream, and I'm here for five years now.